up you're far enough away because otherwise she's not going to hear you. Go ahead. Hi, I'm Cynthia Mully. I'm here today because I'm concerned about all the ripple effects of the the bad investment that companies have made in the Mountain Valley Pipeline and um, especially concerned that the project be canceled at this point. It was never a good idea, a good investment, because it turns out to be the most expensive per mile pipeline that's ever been built. And the companies get to recoup the cost of building this pipeline by charging its customers. And I'm especially concerned about how it affects the Virginia retirement system right now, because uh, the retirement system has hundreds of thousands of shares of uh, of Dominion, which is uh, stating that they need the, the gas when they really don't. As it's you might want to repeat that last part. <laughs> Here comes another truck. <laughs> Just pick it up. Or pick it up, or you're worried about the tires. I'm really retired. I'm really concerned about the effect that uh, investments in Mountain Valley Pipeline are affecting the Virginia retirement system, uh, especially. Uh, uh, Dominion Energy, which is claiming that uh, there's a need for the gas in South Carolina, when South Carolina can actually get the gas, the same gas, wait, much wait, cheaper. Wait, you through. have to do that part. It's North Carolina. It's North Carolina. I'm especially concerned Oh, sorry. About give me a second. I had Paul. Okay. Um, okay, go. Just wait a second. <laughs> about how investments in Mountain Valley Pipeline are affecting companies that affect our well-being. I'm a member or a participant in the Virginia Retirement System, which has hundreds of thousands of shares uh, invested in Dominion. And Dominion is claiming that the gas is needed in North Carolina when it really isn't, uh, because the same gas can be procured through other pipelines uh, more cheaply. Uh, so, the best scenario for Dominion and the Virginia Retirement System and even Roanoke Gas uh, behind me is to cancel this pipeline because the project really is dead on arrival. Uh, the, the gas is not wanted and it's, it's going to hurt everybody. Dominion would be paying for capacity that would not be used in uh, North Carolina. Who wants to buy more expensive gas when they can get it through other cheaper means? So I hope that the project is canceled and everybody will be better off for it.